everyone good to see you thanks for checking the video out again uh, i'm gonna keep it going if you've been following uh, the last couple videos i posted uh, i've kind of been on a hooting the blowfish sort of kick so i'm gonna continue with that right now with uh time from again from cracked rear view which i think is a fantastic album the more and more i go back and revisit that that all those tracks just fantastic so um we're gonna do time on this one time um basic chord structures as far as uh you know d g there's an e minor e mi well, the d and the e minor are kind of the, the main chords here and then you've got a g and an a and an a sus kind of thrown in there for the most part but it's all kind of based around this this riff here okay uh, and again just a quick reminder some housekeeping here if you haven't done so you know, like, subscribe, you know, for the channel, check out the website, sixstringfun.com. Also, if you're on Instagram, I've got a lot of stuff going on there on my Instagram account. Uh, I know, shameful plug, but I got to do it. So uh, uh, anyway, getting back to the tune. So it, it's this riff right here. So it's all just kind of based around uh, the, the C shape here and then going into it. It's, it is, it's an E minor from there, but... Um, I guess how I play it is kind of funky in a way, so but let's, let's just go to the D shape right there, okay? Standard D shape. We're gonna start on the, the open D string and go down one, two, three. Alright, that's how the riff begins. So it's D string, G string, D string. Okay, one, two, three. And then what we do is so I'm going from this D shape. And I'm going to end up with my pinky and ring finger as if I'm playing a G chord. But I'm going to take my index finger and put it on the second fret of the D string. So you're kind of getting that E minor 7th in a way in there. That kind of chord. Um, but I'm just using my index finger, okay? And I'm going to hit that open D for the second part of the riff. And then hammer on. play that continue strumming that pattern down from the D string down so again and all it is is just a simple pattern I'm not alternating strings I'm going you know for the first chord the D three notes right down the line there and then for the second part at this time I'm going all the way down to the E string and back all right if you can see that oh. So, and then we're going to repeat that, but we're going to hold off on playing that final note. You don't hear the difference here. Watch. So we're not coming up on the end of that riff to play that B note or the B string. I should say. Okay. So we end the riff finally on that on the E string. Okay, so the D chord, hammer on D, and then strum back up, pick down. And that is kind of like the main pattern throughout the, you know, the song basically. Um, so this is going to be the intro. That'll be played over the first verse. Right? Okay. And then it's going to be, can you teach me about tomorrow? Can you, can you? So it's going to go from that riff to the, can you teach me about tomorrow? Which is an A. I kind of just, I don't typically bar it, but I do because we're going to play some suspended chords here as well. So, to the G. Thinking about. And then we go E minors. So, not that there's a lot going on there, but it's just a lot of different changes. We've got the riff we've talked about already, right? So, going into the pre chorus. I can switch that around, sorry. So, it's going to be. Do 
Earth. So really, that's pretty much the entire song. I think just by memory, different pieces, different parts. But we've got the riff. Can you teach me about tomorrow? Back to the riff. Because tomorrow is just another day. And I don't believe in time. So that's kind of the song structure right there. It seems pretty simple. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, as I'm going through this, but that's really kind of the whole structure there. There's a solo in there, which we're not going to go over. So it kind of just starts off on that uh, second string, seventh fret right there. So, but you know, we can, if, if there's people want to know, I can probably throw that together, but that's. It's in there somewhere, but that's kind of the structure of the song. To D to that E minor shape, to the A, just another day. I don't believe in time. And at that point, you can start strumming, I think, if you're playing solo acoustic, you can kind of start strumming it. Again, it's a D. And all it is, it's the E minor, but you're, I incorporate the uh, the third fret on the, the B and the E string. structure there as far as strumming pattern uh, you, you got to listen to it I'm very poor when it comes to showing you how to um, you know strum it but you know again the, the, the main part is just arpeggios so kind of went through that and then I just kind of strum to, to, the, to the tempo so to me Kind of the riff on uh, the uh, the pattern I tend to use. And the song ends on that riff. basically how it ends so um fun song little it, it definitely is a challenge if you're not used to kind of that that, that picking pattern and, and again I, how i finger my um chords here might be a little bit different than what you typically do uh for that e minor seven that's how i do it but you know hopefully uh, again it's pretty straightforward it's again you can strum that and probably get away with it without having to play that riff but enjoy and i'll see you in the next video